All right, what's up, people? Next tarot for you people. And in this video, we're talking about this card here. Right? And one of the very interesting things is that this is one of, I think, four. I could be wrong about that, but I think four cards that Crowley renamed from the original naming. Now, like Magician to Magus, I mean, you can count that if you want, right? This is one of the ones that actually, in my opinion, makes a magical difference. Because the original name of the card was not adjustment. It was justice. Right? And the thing that I think Crowley was doing, besides opening the briefcase and exposing the fucking, holy shit, sodium phosphate, whatever the fuck that is, <laughs> is that justice is a static concept. Justice is something that is kind of, how should I say, is calcified in time and space. It's eternal. And what he did was he took that and he fucking flipped it into an active. Adjustment is a verb. It's an active concept. And I think that's super important for this card. Because I think this is a very active card. And I think Crowley understood that as well. That this is a very active card. Um, so... Now, why do I have it with uh, the Empress and the Tower? I mean, you would think that that's like, what the fuck is going on here? Okay, so the Empress, let's go down here. That's Venus, right? Then we go here. That's Mars, right? Hmm, interesting. But that's not why they were picked. They were picked because on the tree, there are exactly three paths that are horizontal. Every other path is a diagonal. Now, you might think that that's not really that important. And maybe it really isn't. Because once we start understanding this as a mandala, now I made a video about all that, didn't I? Then we might see that, well, we're kind of like vectoring things a little bit wrong. So like, for example, if, if I look at this, this path right here, which is the fool, I'm going to ignore that because we ignore the fool all the time. Magus right here. What if that, that vector that looks diagonal is actually a straight line, but there's a third dimension. Anywho, right? Well, then that gets confusing. Then that becomes that Dude, like that, that staircase thing where somebody's walking down the stairs, but then they're walking up the stairs at the same time. <laughs> right? So what do we have here? These are the only three trunks that represent the horizontal pathways. And what's interesting enough is that when I take these two off the table, which I've already done one sort of and um, you can never do anything <laughs> even when you're fucking right you never hit it the same way twice this is the only one that's right here axis B what I call axis B which is how I derive seer which is the black sphere seer is the black sphere but here this is the path of justice or more properly adjustment so what's going on here where are the hands the hands are really small right here but what is this thing going on what you're gonna see is is that this is this this is kind of like an entire but see here's the thing 
it starts to make you understand adjustment adjustment that's why Crowley renamed it is because adjustment is not a single thing it's the most fluid Ooh, look at that it's the most fluid of all cards and it has to be right Oh man, you have no idea my tree work. See, people say they work the tree, but they don't really work the tree. Working the tree is like, it's, it's, it's a little bit deeper than just that. You can give symbolisms, you can understand like, you know, all right, I'll say hey, black ball here, blue ball here, black ball here, blue ball here, right? All the while, you don't see what's happening in the background. That there is a figure. Now, this is where I'm going to fucking blow your mind. There is a figure. This is his torso down here. Okay, go ahead and fuck with me. That's his torso. This goes off into his arms. Off into the arms over here. Up into the head up here. And she is standing in front of him vectored out look at the chains where did the chains come from oh, oh man there's a hidden guy in this fucking A2 you have no idea who that guy is do you he almost looks like a comic book super villain I would think he's got to be pretty fucking big right and imprisoned Imprisoned. But really? Vectoring out. This is one of those really weird things. And like I said, this is this path here. Between strength and mercy. I think it was very interesting that Crowley chose to rename. I think we're going to get to that next, believe it or not. He chose to rename strength into lust important now look i could do this and i could i could start dissecting this whole thing see doth right there doth is here it's soon is here there's got to be one in between the geometry just says there has to be i haven't found it yet I haven't found it yet, but it's there. You can see it by the geometry, by the way, it's like the falling sun. It's like the falling sun. This is, this is what the pillar does, the middle pillar. Now these are the extremes, right? These are the extremes. You can say soft and hard, right? That's how you can, this is soft and hard, right? You can think of it that way, right? I don't think of it that way, but some people could, right? You have a left hand and a right hand. Well, you you need to hold a sword with one and a shield with the other. <laughs> or some shit like that, right? A black ball with one and a blue ball with the other. I don't know. But that vector. Constant. This is why the guy that said that this card was... Dual, I don't think it is dual at all. I think it's 100% singular. The sword, everything is... Everything about this card is up-down vectors. The only problem is... This card... Represents a left-right vector. Which means... That it actually does represent an up-down vector. And that we're not really looking at this correctly. Like I said, there's another, there, there, there is, there is another Sephira right here. I can see it. I just don't know what it is. I haven't done that working yet. You might be like, whoa, you, your shit's bullshit. No, it's not. It's not. 100% not. I'm doing the work nobody else does. 
So look, and, and look, there's one here. There's actually one here on this on, on this passing. There's only one. It's not two. It's one. And they touch. The apex to apex. There's one here too as well. I don't know what that is. And I'm pretty sure there's one here, although I'm not 100% about that because this is Malkuth. And Malkuth is different. But anywho, so yes, adjustment. Adjustment. I adjust the entire glyph. For what? Greater understanding. Balance. Um, balance. Again, balance is the pathway. What was axis B and the pathway mm, is next. See, now you're starting to see how all this is going to fit together. Anywho, thanks for watching. No, Jorge, turn the shit off, bro. Fuck, they're going to catch me watching Special Victims Unit. That's not in the video. Oh shit. He's dead. I'm gonna go fucking turn this shit off. Yeah! He won't turn off.